Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with it all the way in, all the way out, and be right here. As for thoughts of the past, thoughts of the future, don't let them get in the way of doing your duty right now. Of course, this is a duty that's not imposed on you by anybody. But if you want to put it into suffering, there are certain duties you've got to follow. As the Buddha said, this is what makes a day auspicious. When you're not worried about the past, you're not letting your mind get cluttered by thoughts of the future, but you're focusing on what you need to do right now in order to solve the big problem in life, which is the fact that even though we want happiness, there are so many things we do that cause suffering. We want to see why that is. As Buddha said, it comes from ignorance and also comes from craving. We're actually passionate for the things that make us suffer. We're actually passionate for suffering in a lot of ways, too. After all, as he said, the suffering is in the clinging, when we cling to an awful lot of things we like. And yet that's putting us in a position of dependency, weakness, instability, because the things we cling to are going to change. Now, if that's all we had, if that was the only possibility that we're in life, that would be a wise choice. But the Buddha says there is something better. If you learn how to develop some dispassion for your clinging and craving, you can find something that's of much more worth, much greater worth inside. So as I said, nobody is imposing these duties on you. But the fact of suffering is, if you don't take care of it in this way, it's never going to get taken care of. But that's the good news of the Buddhist teachings, is that you can take care of this problem. You can tackle it and you come out victorious. You don't just sit there and accept the fact, yeah, things are okay, they're, there's some good things mixed up with the bad. You just learn how to learn how to accept that. The Buddha says, no, you don't accept that. What you have to accept, he says, is the fact that suffering can be put to an end, and you can do it. And if you're not doing it, you're wasting your time. So make this an auspicious day, one in which you keep your current duties in mind. As you go through the day, try to keep your mind settled, centered inside. And anything comes up that would pull you out of your center, you say, okay, this is something that's I've got to look into carefully. Because there will be some things you have to think about. But there are so many things that we think about that serve no real purpose at all. You know, we just go with the flow. Any, anything that seems to push in any direction, we just go along with the push. Anything that pulls, we go along with the pull. And what we need is a good place to stand apart so we can look at the push and look, look at the pull and say, which direction are they taking us? Is this where I want to go? Because you can direct your life in the direction you want it to. As the Buddha said, the self rightly directed is a great blessing. And so direct yourself down the path. And as with any path, you focus on each step you're taking right now, right now. Because that's where the duty is done, which is right now. And when the duty is done, that's what makes the day auspicious.